everybody Ann here sitting here in front of the chicken yard having my coffee with all you uh, Don and Andy just stopped by and they picked up the dog and they're gonna do a video on that I'm I'm not um, I did take some photos just for evidence for myself but as soon as they post that video I will tell you the link and uh, you can go watch the video but they're gonna take care of her at least for the time being um, they said they didn't know if they would be able to do it permanently but at least if they can keep her um, well until you know Papa's done with his treatment and then I can take him or if the owner insists you know on having the dog back you know I mean fostering the dog while someone is in the hospital is one thing but um, I don't suspect he'll want her back though because he just provided no care for her basically um, she did get into the doghouse I could tell uh, because there was mud at the back of it um, you know <laughs> one more chicken just laid an egg uh, Anyhow, I'll just update you on all that. I didn't get to sleep last night. I was, you know, thinking about that dog, but she's she's okay. And um, well, at 3:15 today, I go take Papa in. So um, yeah, I'll probably take you along on that too. All right, so talk to you later. <laughs> what is this? It's like a chicken celebration. <laughs> this just tickles me so much. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Needless to say, I didn't get my shower yesterday, so I'm heating up the water and I'm gonna get it all nice and fresh and clean before I take Papa to the vet. Uh, I think before I go to the vet, I'm gonna stop off and um, at the post office because I think there's something there for me but while I'm waiting around for that time to come I'm gonna have a look around my property now that everything's thawed out I don't think there will be any mushrooms but I still want to see what's going on there's my favorite fallen mushroom tree I'm gonna look on the other side and see if there's anything but it looks kind of pretty I love that uh, golden kind of tree there it's a little bit different than the others I don't know what kind it is but there's a big huge tree oh my goodness all of these trees just go way way high up see I got a couple pines yeah and my little stream is dry that's kind of pretty I think I'll put it in my box hopefully it'll last the little hike and maybe use it for an art project pretty yeah doesn't look like there's any mushrooms growing Remember how I found clusters like right in this area? Nope, nothing today. I have every confidence that once the weather warms up permanently, this log is gonna give me plenty more mushrooms. Look at all that rotting wood. Yep, that's gonna go in another garden bed. Absolutely. Oh look, I got a little bit of water flowing right there. Just a teensy bit. Papa has found his way into the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, I got a river. <laughs> It'll be dry in a day. Here's that tree limb I need to finish cutting up. Yeah, I think I need to get back to gathering some more wood. It's still gonna be cool for a while. And plus, you know, I can just cook with it. If it gets too hot inside, I can do it outside on the rock stove. Zero mushrooms. Makes me sad, but that's okay. They're gonna come. Y'all know they're gonna come. And you know how excited I get when I find mushrooms. Just the prospect of finding a mushroom makes me happy. And yeah, I'm gonna go back and see if my water is heated up yet so I can take my lovely shower. Look at me, you guys. Look at my crazy hair. My hair always looks like this. Kind of all crazy and fuzzy right after I wash it after a couple days. It goes back to being kind of normal. Yeah, what do you think? Should I cut the bangs again? <laughs> I'm never cutting my bangs again. I don't care. If I ever talk about cutting my bangs again, I want you all to remind me how bad of an idea it was. So, yeah. Uh...
I got my shower in. The whole process took about an hour. It's only about noon right now. Mm. So I'm just hanging out in front of the chickens like always. I got a couple more things I can do before I have to take Papa in, but I'm just relaxing. Just relaxing, feeling wonderful and happy and not worried anymore. I mean, I'm still worried about the outcome with Papa, but I have faith. I have faith that that's going to turn out okay. Well, look at him. He just loves to just lounge around. What you doing, sweet boy? Hey, Papa. He loves it. He's in the shade now. This dog is going to have a tough time when it starts getting really, really hot because he's already kind of, you know, showing signs of being hot. He likes to be in the shade, drinking lots of water and whatnot. But we've got plenty of shade around here, so he's going to be just fine. Look at this. I'm getting ready to go into town, and two of the hens lay late. This leghorn egg is an extra large egg, but I finally got a brown, I'm sure it's a double yolk. Mr. Lucas has been saying he's been getting uh, double yolk brown eggs. This is my first. Look at that. Eggzilla. Yeah. It's papa time. Let's see if it starts. Yep. Oh, no. That's not good. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? I am, um, I'm just going to get to the vet and that's all there is to it. Well, it's not acting funny. It's not making any funny sounds, so who knows what that means. I mean, it's not the oil light or anything like that. It is the check engine light. The dreaded check engine light. Oh well. I'm going to get to the post office first and then over to Papa's vet. I made it to the post office and the truck started again. The check engine light is still on, but I got three prezzies. So after I drop Papa off, I will sit in the car, or truck rather, and open prezzies. We made it here. She took him in, and they're just going to do his blood work and um, get his chest x-rays. And I don't think we'll know really anything today, probably, I don't know, for a couple days until the results come back. Um, so I guess I, I need to see if I can find a way to open up these prezzies in here. Um, there's nowhere for me to set the phone up. I'll tell you what. Um, let me figure this out. I literally have no way to set this up, um, so I'm just gonna turn the camera around and try and open the presents that way. Okay, this first one is from Lori C. I turned it over because I didn't want you to see her address, and I'm opening it. Oh, oh, it looks like warm fuzzies. Looks like warm fuzzies. Oh, what is this? Oh, 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 look, a pretty purple hat. Oh, that is so gorgeous, Lori. I love this. I don't have a hat like this. I have knit caps, but this is so cute. Look at it. Thank you, Lori. And look at this. All right, I'm going to get it out and show it to you. This is a very pretty lap blanket. Look at that. Oh, and it is so soft. Oh, Lori, you are wonderful. Let me see what... Oh, she sent me some egg cartons. Yes, ma'am. Three of them. Oh, I love these. Great. Thank you so much, Lori. Okay, I'm going to read this. Dear Annie, I am writing from one of my daughter's old notebooks. Um, I made this uh, afghan for you in... Um, gosh, I have... I'm having trouble reading this because I need to... My glasses are terrible. Uh, 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 and a ray of sunshine midst of a storm. I follow you every day and I admire what you were doing. That hat is not handmade, but it is warm and your color. This is all I could put in a box I could afford. God bless you, Lori. Oh, you can mention first name and last initial. Lori C. Yeah, I figured. Oh, Lori, this is wonderful. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, I just almost wish that I could have opened this at home so you could see my expression, but this is wonderful. Thank you, Lori. Here's the next one. It's from Amazon. Um, let me just rip into this, and then I'll show you what's inside. Check this out. This is Leon Parent's Steak Sauce. Sold as one pack. Do not separate. Let's see if there is a note. Let me see. There are notes. Let me see. Okay. Hi, Anne. I hope you like this steak sauce. 
It is for all meats or a dab on your eggs too. Um, yes, you can read it on your YouTube out loud from Washington Prepper. Oh man, and this came from Amazon? Oh gosh, I know this is going to be good. I just know it's going to be good. I've never had it, but I've heard that it's very good. So thank you, Washington Prepper. Oh, this is wonderful. You are awesome. All right, we've got one more and it's in the back. I don't know how I'm going to do this without looking weird. Curiosity got the cat and I absolutely have to try this. Let me taste it. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. Can I do this? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I'm getting it all over the place. Mmm. Mm. I can see where that would be delicious on eggs. I need to look over there. This is going to be great. I will eat it a lot on eggs. It's got a lot of flavor. I'm going to put this on my eggs tomorrow. Yes, I am. Oh, yes. Thank you, Washington Prepper. You're awesome. All right, guys. This is also from Amazon. This is the next one. I've just pulled it out. I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. Here it is, you guys. Look at this. Hot dipped, galvanized, hexagonal netting, 36 inches times 50 feet, 2 inch by 2 inch, and there are two of them. So, this is some awesome chicken wire. I think, I think I may be able to cover the top of the chicken run with this. Oh yes, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Let me get in the truck and I'll tell you more about it. I'm sorry, you guys. I should have done this at home. I was talking quiet out there because one of the vet techs came out and was talking to the lady in the next car over. So I just did it real quick. And this is from Enjoy Your Gift from Doreen Miller. Oh my gosh, Doreen, you are a godsend. I have an idea for that chicken wire. I think that I will be able to cover the top of the coop. And I think, I may save it for a surprise. I was just thinking about this today and I was preparing the thing that I was going to put in the middle of the chicken yard to get the, the chicken wire over the top of, um, to kind of like hold it up. So I think I'm going to be able to do this and you know what, I'm going to save that for another video. I am going to save all of that for another video, but I had actually thought of, you know, what I could put on top of that and I think I'm going to be able to use that. So thank you so much, Doreen. Thank you, Lori C., for the beautiful, beautiful blanket and the hat and the egg cartons and Washington Prepper. That steak sauce is delicious. I cannot wait to put that over eggs and steak, too. I bet you it's good on pork. I bet you any money it's good on pork and on hamburgers. Yeah, hamburgers. So I'm just going to sit here. Um, it's starting to get cloudy. Uh, it might start raining. And um, wait till they're done with Papa and then um, just go home. So I don't know that I'm gonna be able to tell you anything else today. So let's go ahead and just close this video out now. I'll get it uploaded while I'm sitting here in town and then um, we'll just find out how Papa's doing and then I'll let you know in the next video. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. <music>